Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Dear students, today I am going to conduct a math class of class 3. Our today's topic is EMB page 81, word problem 3, 4. EMB page 81, word problem 3 and 4. This is our lecture 10 of annual term and in this lecture, these two word problems is given as your homework. This is your homework 9. At first, I will solve the question, then you will see this and do your homework following the class. The students, let us start. Question th 3, it means first question today. Shujan had 70 taka, 50 paisa. His mother gave him 95 taka to buy fish. How much amount did Shujan have? It means that Shujan had 70 taka, 50 paisa. 70 taka, 50 paisa. And to buy fish, his mother gave him 95 taka. As there is not paisa mentioned here, it means that 95 taka, 00, zero paisa. Now, our question is, how much amount did Shujan have? It means that, after getting the money from his mother, total amount of money, what will be the total amount of money? We have to find out that. To find the total amount of money of Shujan, we have to add these two amount, which he had before and what amount is given? by his mother. So, we have to add now. So, we can write here, Shujan had, Shujan had 70 taka, 50 paisa. Now, we have to add the amount of money which is given by his mother. So, we can write mother gave, mother gave 95 taka as paisa is not mentioned here. So, we can write here 00, zero paisa. Now, we will get the total amount of Shujan if we add these two. So, we can write total amount. Now, we have to add. At first, we have to add paisa with paisa. I have shown in the previous class how to do this type of addition. Now, this is 50 paisa and here is 0, 0 paisa. It means that add 0 and 0, this will be 0 and add 5 and 0, this will be 5. So, this is 50 paisa less than 100 paisa. So, we have to write 50 paisa here. Now, we have to go to the next portion, taka. Now, we have to add 95 taka with 70 taka. Now, add 5 and 0. This will be 5. 9 and 7. This will be 16. 9, 9 and 7 is 16. So, we can say 165 taka, 165 taka. So, if we add 95 taka with 70 taka 50 paisa, we will get 165 taka 50 paisa. So, we can say according to our question, Shujan had, therefore, Shujan had
Susan had 165 taka, 50 paisa. So our required answer is 165 taka, 50 paisa. The students, I hope you have understood question 3. Now I will solve question 4. Question 4 is Rima bought a book with 85 taka, 75 paisa. She gave taka 100 to the shopkeeper. How much money did the shopkeeper return? It means that Rima bought a book with taka 85, 85 taka 75 paisa. It means that this is the price of book and she gave 100 taka to the shopkeeper. So, shopkeeper will return her some money. We have to find out that amount, how much amount or how much money the shopkeeper returned her. So, we can write here. At first, you have to write the larger amount. It means Rima gave to the shopkeeper. Rima gave. Rima gave 100 taka. There is no paisa, so we can write here 00, zero paisa. Price of book, price of book eighty five taka. Seventy five paisa. Dear students, now notice that if you subtract the price of book from the amount given to the shopkeeper, we will get the returning money, we will get the returning money. So, we can write shopkeeper, therefore, shopkeeper returned. Shopkeeper returned. Shopkeeper returned. So, do the subtraction now. At first, we have to subtract 75 paisa from 00, zero paisa. It is not possible to subtract 75 paisa from 00, zero paisa. To do this, I have shown in the previous class, in the class of subtraction, this type of subtraction I have shown. If the first one is smaller, then we have to take one taka. We have to take one taka. If we consider here one taka, one taka means 100 paisa. Then add 00, zero paisa with this, we will get 100 paisa. So, now we can subtract 75 paisa from this. If we subtract, we will get 5 here and then 2 here, it means 25 paisa. So, we can write here 25 paisa. As I have taken here 1 taka, so we have to give that here. It means that this is 86 now. We have to subtract 86 from 100. If we subtract, we will get 4 here and 1 here. Subtract 6 from 10, you will get 4. Then subtract 9 from 10, you will get 1. So, our required amount is 14 taka 25 paisa. It means that the shopkeeper returned, the shopkeeper returned 14 taka 25 paisa. So, you can write here, therefore, the shopkeeper returned 14 taka 25 paisa. So, our required answer for this question is 14 taka. 25 paisa. The students, 
I hope you have understood this solution of question 4 and these two questions, question 3 and 4 is given as your HW. Do this in your assigned HW copy, submit your assigned HW in next Sunday. You know that HW is important for your annual term examination as your CT marks, diary marks and SBA marks will be given based on the performance of your HW. Keep practicing at home, abide by your parents, stay home, stay safe, see you again, till then, Salaamu Alaikum.